Bonjour, everyone. I hope you are all having a fabulous day. We're back here at um, MK Ultra Central, right? I think I told you about that weird list I found, and I wish I had saved it. It was this list of facilities in the U.S., and it called Evergreen CIA Death Camp. And Piers Morgan was interviewing Ted Bundy's cousin. It was a female who just wrote a book, and I just kind of had it on in the background. I wasn't super paying attention to it. It was kind of the usual, like, everyone thought he was nice. Everyone thought he was great. You know, we, we had no idea. You know, that sort of thing. But um, there were a couple of times when my ears sort of pricked up, and I'll have to maybe go back to it. It's hard to go back to things. There's so much new stuff always coming in as well. But she had said, um, you know, that they were very close. They lived within blocks of each other kind of during college years up in Seattle, and she... Um, now, of course, this is, you know, we're down here in Olympia, but if you kind of read about, you know, what he was sort of up to, you'll see that he spent a great deal of time down here. I don't know if he actually, like, had a place down here or stayed with people. There was some place he volunteered at down here in Olympia. But she had said, you know, just that he really didn't fit that kind of serial killer thing of a person who might um, feel like they're a, you know, a failure or something like that in life. And she was like, he had a great job he was really happy about and a girlfriend he liked. And the job that she said that he had was that he was like undercover or like a spy, you know, that he had this kind of fun, intriguing, um, job and it's just so creepy to think of how he was so trusted by Dan Evans and had that narc job here that Doc had told me about. It's nothing that's been in official records but I felt that yeah that Doc you know I totally trusted what he said because he was the person who had gone to Evergreen at that time. And he said, Dan Evans hired Ted Bundy as a spy um, to spy on students. And now we find out that's true. Well, we had to come out this way and, you know, it's weird thinking about him being hired as an undercover person at not just any college, but at the MK Ultra one. So that's interesting, isn't it? You know, we're going to talk about fair game later, but right now I've got to get this little. There he is. He has been very much wanting the beach, but. It's like MK Ultra can never somehow be escaped. It's always there whenever you're researching any of this madness. You'll know from older videos about Mark Chapman and the Castle Cook Hospital in Hawaii and all that stuff. Okay. Here we are, everyone. We are... Kind of at the little, yep. Mankin begins to sing <laughs> when he gets these places. It's quite lovely. <sighs> Much love. 